What's happening? Day four weigh in. Let's see what's going on so far. Six pound in four days. This is gonna take some explaining. Day four breakfast. Scales. Porridge oats. Good quality protein. And a bowl with a spoon. And a mouth. Put it in a pan. 200 ml of milk. Two, four, 40 grams of oats. 1.2 scoops depending on how much protein you need per meal. Um, I have 1.2 scoops which gives me about 30 grams of protein per serving. Um, why did I start the day with carbs? Just today, um, I'd normally start with fat and protein, but today I need it because I have training straight after my first client and I won't be able to get a meal. I need that bit of extra energy. So I time my carbs around my training. Um, I find if I eat my carbs mostly before, in my meal before and um, my meal post training, um, I recover better for the next session, I have more energy for the day, um, I perform better in the gym and that's what it really comes down to, your recovery and your performance in the gym when you're looking at training, I do believe. But anyway, so, scales, porridge, protein, bone spoon, mouth, homes under the hammer. Homes under the hammer makes you 20% more anabolic. We all know that. Proven. So, full body session done today. Um, video. Should be on one side of me here. Not too sure. Um, what was the thing about whenever I was training there? Yeah, I woke up this morning and I was, what, six? Six pound lighter from four days ago. Um, just be, just be skeptical. I, I'll tell you, I'm telling you the truth. And I'll tell you what I'm doing and what I'm taking and what I'm eating. Um, just be really wary of anyone on the internet trying to tell you how they lost weight. I want you to look at me with skepticism and question everything I do and tell you, no, I didn't really do that. Um, if you do that, you won't get caught out as much. It's believing every bit of crap that a person with a six pack tells you on the internet where people make money and people with genuine issues with their weight get shafted for their whole life and think they're the problem when you're not the problem it's it's the stuff they're trying to push on you so if i could woke up this morning and told you um on monday i was what was it, 189 and today i lost six pound and i did that by taking this product or that product or doing this workout plan or eating this you, you can t I could tell you pretty much anything and not all you would believe it but some of you would and some of you would probably think about buying what I just told you to buy but I haven't taken anything in particular I've eaten well I've eaten in a calorie deficit I've trained hard I've drank water and where did the drop come from I didn't lose six pound of fat I'll tell you that um, a water balance change glycogen depletion actual food sitting in me there's a million reasons why I um, dropped that water or dropped that weight and it wasn't all fat some of it probably was but by Jove it all wasn't and um, just to take away from this skepticism question everything I do ask me questions disagree with me have a debate it's all good other thing weighing in and scales it's one measurement of weighing in or one measurement of um, your progress but it is most definitely not the best one. I use it um, because it's just hard to take body caliber readings all the time, but I do it for the first bit. So just on the scales here, I'll do it in stone today. So what are we gonna do? Okay, so we'll see. What am I on the scales? 13. Thirteen eighty-eight on the scales. Yeah, I'm fully dressed. I'm holding the camera. I've had a couple of drinks and bites to eat today, so I'm a bit heavier. What? Water in. 
Skills on. Thirteen, nine, six. So, I can do that in five seconds. I could also have drank the whole bottle. I could have went, weighed myself, showed you it, went for a piss, and then came back, and I would have been much lighter. Same thing as if you weigh in week from week. Don't get depressed if it's only a pound change. What you see in the mirror, how you feel in yourself, that's gonna be much better. The tape measure is a good way to go. It's less likely to, to give you false readings, but it's still well, you can be bloated. There can be problems there, so don't let the scales ruin you. You, you could get on the scales with 2.0 and then you could wanna chuck the diet in because apparently it's not working, but it's not like that. Your body's not that simple. It's, it would be nice if it was, we could all get into the shape real quickly, but it's not. So stay the course. Don't let machines tell you what to do. Don't believe everything I say. Don't believe everything the online people say. Um, there's a lot of good people out there, a lot of good trainers, a lot of good guys on YouTube, but then there's the ones that aren't so good and you gotta be worried about them. But just, you're all smart people. Be smart whenever it comes to your body. Thanks for listening. I'll check in in a few days. Peace.